part two on basic finance, perhaps slightly higher production values. We looked in the last video at future value. Now we'll look at present value, PV, which answers the question, how much am I willing to pay today to receive some amount of money in the future? If you promise to give me a thousand dollars ten years from now, I'm not going to pay you a thousand dollars today for that because I'd rather have the money now than the money in ten years and because if I had the money now I could stick it in the bank and have more than a thousand ten years from now. But how much would I pay you? I wouldn't pay you a thousand dollars but I'd pay you more than a hundred dollars. What exactly would it depend on? Well, here's the formula. We've seen before that future value is equal to present value times one plus r to the n. So by simple substitution we have present value equal to future value divided by 1 plus r to the n, where future value is the amount of money you're going to give me in the future. What's this future payoff you're selling me? n is the number of years I have to wait for it, and r is the interest rate. The interest rate I could get if I were saving my money instead of giving it to you. So, once again, this question. If I know how much money you're offering me in the future, how many years I have to wait for it, and what the interest rate is, then I can calculate the present value. PV is equal to FV divided by 1 plus R to the N. For instance, if you're offering me $100 one year from now, FV is equal to 100, N is equal to 1, down here. You're offering me $100 one year from now. Here's what I'll pay you for it. I'll take your hundred dollars and divide it by one plus r, in this case to the power of one. Well, that means I have to know what the interest rate is. Depending on the interest rate that I could earn if I put my money in the bank, I might offer you a larger or smaller amount for that future payment. For instance, if the interest rate is 50 percent, or 0.5, then the future value of $100, whoops, excuse me, mistake there, the present value what I would give you today for $100 next year if the interest rate is 50 percent is $66. That's all I'd give you today because I could take my $66, save it at an interest rate of 50% and I'd have 100 next year. So I wouldn't pay you any more than $66 today for the $100 next year. And you wouldn't accept any less, so that's the fair price. Given an interest rate of 50%, $100 next year is worth $66 today. But what about some other interest rate? If the interest rate is 100%, if I could double my money in a year, then I would only give you $50 today for $100 next year. Once again, the formula is the same. This is 100 over 1 plus 1, because the interest rate is 1. That's 1 plus R. 100 divided by 2 is 50. I will give you $50 today for $100 next year because I could keep my $50 and turn it into $100 by saving it in the bank. So I wouldn't pay you more than 50 but you wouldn't accept less than 50 in exchange for paying me $100 next year. So the higher the interest rate, the less I'll pay you today for money in the future. What if the interest rate is zero? Well, if the interest rate is zero, I can't do anything with my money. I can't save it. I can't invest it. In that case, $100 this year, $100 next year, it's the same. The present value of $100 next year is $100 today. Another way to look at this more generally is that given the fact that the value today is determined by that formula. Concentrating here, we see that it's an inverse relationship, that the present value, what I will pay you today, is inversely proportional to the interest rate. If interest rates are high, 
I won't offer you very much. Let's just remind ourselves that again. If the interest rate is 50%, I'll give you $66 today for $100 next year. If the interest rate is 100%, then I'll only give you fifty dollars. If the interest rate is zero, then I'll give you a hundred dollars today for your hundred dollars next year. Okay, that's the basics of finance.